I chose my obstetrician solely on the fact he delivers baby gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris's team. Does he only deliver baby gorillas? Yeah, I had to promise to have a very hairy baby. No, <laughs> he, no. No, no. He does that on the side. I don't uh, think it's yes. through the side. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen how he does it. Uh, yeah, no, no, absolutely not. No, obstetrician, a, for a people obstetrician, but um, somebody's got to deliver the gorilla babies. <laughs> what so, about a vet? Gorilla's anatomy. I mean, I don't know what yours looks like, but um, <laughs> a gorilla's anatomy is more similar to a human's than, you know, the, you know, the cows and sheep you train on mm. as a vet. Were you concerned that he might get a diary clash? <laughs> <laughs> your, your, your waters break and he says, look, I should be with you, but um, Coco's breaching. <laughs> I mean, he did, um, when I had my second child, he did um, tell me that he had tickets to the caravan and camping show on my daughter's due date, and if I could wait a day, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> and I did, so... Was there anything about the delivery that you thought, gee, he's been around gorillas? <laughs> <laughs> well, he brought a lot of bananas. No, he... <laughs> Did he shake all four of your hands? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't shake any of them, Frank. He was shaking something else. <laughs> it was very good, actually. When it was all over, he was still down the business end, looked up, made eye contact, and he went... Some women attempted to get a mirror and have a look down there. And then he just went... and walked out. <laughs> And I, I think the thing that backs that up is that the gorillas are one of the only primate that actually recognise themselves in a mirror. Hmm. I don't think I would have recognised myself <laughs> in a mirror. Well, like, I mean, what are you thinking, Gina? I think it might be plausible. I know this was Melbourne. Melbourne Zoo yeah. does have gorillas, so... My question really is, is that the only reason why you chose that obstetrician? Yeah, I was, I was, it's like, basically, it's like getting David Attenborough as your obstetrician. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Even for the story, it's just sort of, he's fun, he's obviously very careful because he, he's, he's never killed a gorilla, therefore there's a reasonable chance he won't kill my children. I, I just had a baby, and um, well, my partner did, and I can tell you 100%, uh, our obstetrician has also never killed a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's actually why we chose him. Yeah. <laughs> I think true. You, true. You're sceptical. Mm, we'll say true. I think it's true. So, yeah, we're going to say true. Claire Hooper, is that a truth or a lie? It is true. <laughs> I love it. It's true. Claire chose her obstetrician because he delivers baby gorillas.